good day. Today, we are going to have the Module 7 Learning Outcome 3 present starch and cereal dishes. At the end of lesson, you will be expected to pre present your own pasta dish. For this lesson, presentation of starts and cereal dishes will be introduced to you, specifically this module, which will help you to present starch dishes with suitable plating and garnishing according to standards. Before we proceed to our main topic, I want you to answer your greatest. Direction, you match column A with column B. You put your answer in a separate sheet of paper. Everybody can start now. If you are done with your pretest, let us proceed to our main topic, cereals and starches. Cereals and starches is under LO3 present starts and cereal dishes. We have techniques in preparing pasta before plating. Cooking time for pasta as one of the common kind of starchy food differs from shape, size, timing, the kind of flour used, and the moisture content. Also, the general rule for cooking pasta in boiling water is, for one pound of pasta, you will, you will use one gallon of water and one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of oil should be observed. Moreover, there are techniques in preparing pasta before plating to achieve a palatable and attract attractive pasta this or pasta dish which are the following pasta is best if cooked and served immediately try to cook pasta a pan order number two provide enough water in the pasta pot which allows it plenty of room to cook and keep it from sticking. Number three, avoid parboiling the pasta. Do not go halfway. Four, always choose pasta that suits your needs. Five, if, if, if pasta is used as an ingredient in a recipe, it should be slightly undercooked. Number six, if pasta is to be served immediately, just drain and do not rinse in cold water. Seven, if pasta is to be used cold in a salad, it is ready to be incorporated in the recipe as soon as it has cooled. Eight, if, if pasta is to be held, toss gently with a small amount of oil keep it from sticking. 9. Measure portion into mounds on trays. Cover it with plastic film and refrigerate until service time. 10. To serve, place the desired number of portion in a china cup and immerse in simmering water to reheat, drain, to reheat rather, drain plate and add sauce. How to plate pasta perfectly? Have you ever wondered how fancy restaurants are able to plate pasta swirled into little mountain of noodles? This presentation for long pasta can be complicated to work either with or without sauce added all over the pasta. To make it possible, all you need is a ladle and a carving fork or tongs. The following steps will help you plate your pasta perfectly, according to Christine Gallery. Number 1. 
Recall your experience every time you eat your favorite spaghetti by twirling it with a spoon to keep everything in place. Number two, when your pasta is ready, pick up a portion of it with a tongue or curving fork and then anchor it in a ladle. After that, all you have to do is twirl, twirl, and twirl until the pasta is coiled into a neat little nest of ladle, or rather in the ladle. Number four, keeping the fork still in the ladle, move it over to the plate, gently nudge the nest of pasta out of the ladle, and slowly remove the fork. Five, what you have left is beautifully coiled serving of pasta that will stay exactly where you put it. So that is how we make a perfect plating of pasta. There are six ideas for pretty your pasta. Tried and true methods for plating pasta by Jersey Olesen Moore. According to her, Cooking cereal and starch dishes like pasta for your loved ones make it special but by adding extremely easy tricks for your plating presentation. Make it, make it more extraordinary special. Here are some tried and tested methods to creative ideas that can be prepared easily at home and will look like made by pro. Number 1. Add the sauce before serving. Number 2. Choose beautiful dishes. And number 3. Add garnishes like shredded or grated cheese, herbs, and edible flowers. 4. Use beautiful pasta. And number 5. Donify it. Meaning, you make a donut look serving of pasta you cook the sauce you cook and sauce your pasta then press it into the donut into a donut or donut molds you can put it inside a donut mold and bake at 4 to 50 Fahrenheit 4250 Fahrenheit for 6 to 10 minutes or until the pasta become crisp invert onto plates and serve as a savory snack number six make nest forming nest with your cooked pasta can be whimsical fun and appealing way to serve it to the guests that is how we plate pasta so i hope you have learned something on how to plate your pasta let us try it with our activities for activity 3.1 Okay, you are just going to make your FB React. Okay, there are different FB React we have, but all you need to uh, prepare first is your paper and pen. So let us see our FB React. Look at the pictures and then you make your FB React on these pictures. Okay, we have 10 pictures. On this activity and you make your FB reacts according to how you feel it and according to the presentation okay let us move or proceed for activity 3.2 activity 3.2 is what we call be alert the objective of this is to list down the techniques in preparing pasta before plating what you need is a cartonina okay pencil marker coloring material picture okay which is also optional so the direction is you create an attractive poster that emphasize the techniques in preparing pasta before plating also include the words be alert as part of it or part of your work and will be rated according to the following rubrics 
Okay, we have the rubrics here. The criteria is final output and then time management. So for excellent, your output is presentable and exceeds in the standards menu board. For time management, work is completed ahead of time. For very satisfactory, will be rated 3. Output is very presentable and meets standards menu board. So for excellent, you have 4 points. For very satisfactory time management, 3 points. Work completed within a lot of time. For satisfactory, you have two points. Output is presented or presentable and is little below standard menu board. For the time management, work completed beyond the time limit time. For one point, needs improvement. Output is not so and is not within the standard menu for board time management were completed too much beyond the allotted time zero points no attempt okay so that is how you will grade it will be graded according to this activity let us proceed you have to remember these three these things cooking time for pasta differs for every shape size and size, timing, kind of flour use, and moisture content. Gen the general rule for cooking pasta in boiling water is for one pound of pasta, use one gallon of water, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoonful of oil should be observed. And there are techniques in preparing pasta before plating to achieve palatable and attractive pasta dish. Let us do your check your understanding. So for the check your understanding, I will leave it to you and uh, as your assignment, you are going to prepare a pre spaghetti recipe as you apply all the learnings about the preparation of starts and cereal dishes. You have to take note of the following. Record your cooking and plating uh, preparation. Prepare a recipe within recipe written in a band paper that includes name of your recipe and then ingredients with measurements, procedure, and then you are going to take a picture of your finished product. You may use your in, any ingredients that are available in your kitchen or nearby stores for a spaghetti dish. Also observe the rule for safety precaution to be taken in the kitchen and should be guided with your parents, guardian during the preparation process. Your performance recorded video and output menu will be graded using the given rubrics. Enjoy cooking! These are the rubrics. You have to go through this rubric. Okay, I want you to read carefully the rubric so that you can cook your pasta or spaghetti accordingly to the standards of cooking and palatable cooking and also play good plating of your pasta. Okay. If you are done, there is no more question. Let us move on to our post test. For our post test, you have to answer the matching type. We have column A and column B. So, I'll give you a few minutes to answer the questions for the mas matching type. Let us now proceed to reflection. For our reflection, you are going to write a reflective learning on the presentation of starch and cereal dishes by completing the statement inside the box below write your answer in a separate sheet of paper i will give this as an assignment to you and to, to be submitted later with that if there's no more question thank you for listening